So what is going on everyone, it is Ethan here and today I am going to be teaching you guys how to create amazing thumbnails like these. So welcome everyone to today's video, hope you guys are doing okay and in today's video, I'm, as I said, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create amazing thumbnails like these. Now, this thumbnail isn't the best, I have to say, but it is great quality for your your channel pretty much and to make it look so much better. And I 100% I say that your channel will look so much better and it will help you grow your channel so much if you use thumbnails like these and if you follow the rules, or follow the rules, follow the steps pretty much of this tutorial. So, basically, as I said, this thumbnail, um, it stands out, it looks good, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a thumbnail like this. I'm going to go through all the steps slowly, um, well, not, well, not really slow, but so you guys understand pretty much uh, what is going on. So, the first thing I'm going to be doing is going over to File and then clicking on New. Let it, let, wait for it to load up, and then go on to Name, and then just type in anything. Click on Test, just, I don't know, name it anything. Next, just copy everything on the screen right now. Make sure it's 1280 by 720, that's really, really important. And then make sure it's twin. make sure it's transparent. Uh, and then also the color mode should be RGB color, 8-bit, and then pixels, pixels, pixels slash inch. Uh, and then make sure that's custom, uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. So then click on OK. Now this should come up, that's absolutely fine. Um, that's literally it. So basically, what you wanna gonna do now? I, I didn't say that right, did I? What you wanna gonna do? No, I don't. Know. Anyway, um, so now you are gonna be clicking on to file, clicking on to place, and then going on to any background that's good. So I'm just gonna click on this one, light blue. This is an absolutely amazing one because it's just exactly like that. That's the same um, as what I just clicked on but it's gone so I'm gonna have to click back on it so it's really quick anyway so it doesn't really matter so I'm gonna click on the check mark up here just to make sure it saves onto here so now I really like this background I have to say guys but um yeah anyway now what you should do now is just click on back on file and then click on place this is just gonna make the the background look so much better and you're gonna try and get this from Google just search up blue and white radius um, and then it will come up, just save it, it should look like this um, and it, it is seriously, I recommend this so much because it's it makes the thumbnail stand out so much more so this is really really key to making your thumbnails really good and as, I, as you can see what I just did, just click on that and then click on overlay and then what you, what you should do now is go on to opacity and then make it around 50, that's absolutely fine, you can make it less but it's less visible obviously and you can make it more but it's more so I'm gonna make it around 50 that's absolutely fine um, and then yeah just click away and that, that should do the trick so now the background is done you should start doing the text so now um, well as the this thumbnail this what, what you should do to make um, text look like this is pretty much click on the text icon here make sure it's plump now to get this uh, this font pretty much um, just click on uh, or search up thefont.com. I'll leave it in the description. So just click on that. Uh, it's a brilliant website that that has loads and loads of different fonts, and um, it's really really good. So make sure you download some fonts that I have. I have Plump, which is really really good. I also have um, I also have Comica Axis. I missed that one. I also have Alblex Pro. There it is. And I also have Aldo the Apache. I hardly use that though. I mainly use Comica Axes, uh, Molot. Where is that? There it is. Uh, no, I missed it. There it is, Molot. I always use that as well. Um, I just use Oblix Molot a lot. So Plump, Plump is amazing as well, I have to say. But uh, just click on the screen and then this should come up. Now, what you should do is just click on, or well, just type in whatever you want your thumbnail to be. So for instance, I'm going to just type in thumbnail and then this should come up. Click on the check mark there, click here and then drag it onto the screen. So just just make sure it's in a good sort of area. I'm going to think, yeah, yeah that looks good. Okay, so now the text is done, you want to make it look much better. So make it look 
like this for instance um, obviously that looks so much better than that so double click on thumbnail and this should come up I'm just gonna move it down here okay so first thing you want to what you want to do is click on stroke I can't speak today but anyway click on stroke um, and make sure the size is around three or four just to make it look like sort of my thumbnails if you're basing it off that you can make it 15 yeah you, you can do that but um, yeah five four is there is, is around it's pretty good um, now as you can see it's sort of um, that's not what we want so in a minute I'll just change that but for now to make uh, it look a lot better uh, you've done stroke and make sure uh, you copy down everything on this gradient so make sure it's grey white grey white grey white um, and then that's that's pretty much it and then click on OK also really really important make sure it's around 90 degrees I'm just going to type in that uh, yeah make sure it's 90 degrees uh, just to make it look like, like that pretty much um, and then that is the stroke done the next thing you, you should do is click on gradient overlay a gradient overlay makes the text look so much better it has loads of different colors now Photoshop gives you um, some some presets pretty much now I don't like them I have to say they are pretty bad the only ones that are useful are the, this grey and white one here this red one this blue one and this rainbow one. so now the gradient overlay is the important thing and um, yeah basically the gradient overlay is really really important to make you, the text look so much better um, so just double click here now these ones I don't really like the only ones I like is this one the red one and the blue one but it's really simple to make um, and I think Vanoff uses that one but yeah basically not many people use these so to change them all you got to do is double click on these things here so double click on this um, and then to make it look like the example uh, make sure it's yellow like that double click on this one and then around here is fine uh, okay that, that's good I like that and then click on OK so now the next thing you want to you should do is click on inner glow and then make sure this size is 10 this just makes the the, the text look so much better um, and it stands out a little bit more so that's all you want so now the inner glow is done that's literally all you've got to do for the inner glow um, now the next thing you should do is satin now satin looks like that but obviously you don't want it that sort of dark so 20 is perfect um, and next thing you should do is click on drop shadow and then just copy everything on the screen um, apart from I'm going to change a few things so I'm going to make nah, 75 so 80 75 is fine for opacity distance just change that yeah that's fine and then make the size a little bit smaller yeah that's good okay so now the text is done and as you can see the thumbnail is actually going into the text so to change that you want to click on the blue and white radius and drag it down here and that looks so much better um, so that is literally how to make the text really good it's literally exactly the same as that that looks a little bit lighter but you can change that later on but I'm not going to quickly go on that um, because I'm now going to be doing the image so the image is the really really important thing um, so if you guys are putting in a image and you want to make it look a little bit a little bit better you want it to stand out these are the tips to help you out so basically I'm gonna put in that thumb uh, where is it there it is so it is really small so to make it a lot bigger all you have to do is hold the shift button and then drag click and drag that should be fine then click on the check mark here that's fine okay then drag it down right next double click on green thumbs up and then this should come up I'm just going to drag this over here actually I'm gonna, yeah that's fine okay then click on stroke um, and then make it a little bit smaller because it's an image so make sure it's about two uh, and then inner glow that looks fine make sure it's around 10 again uh, and then gradient overlay. You do, oh no, we don't gradient overlay actually, unless you want to change the color of the thumb. So that's that looks actually quite nice. And if you want it to be golden, there's your answer. If you want it to look a better green, maybe um, I'm gonna make that look a better green actually. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so yeah, gradient overlay. You can use that. Um, and then satin. That's a really really important thing. Five. There we go. Okay. 
Uh, I like my things exact, guys. Um, okay, so the next thing is drop shadow, the most important thing, in my opinion, to make it stand out. Um, and then distance should be that. Size should be around 20. And then size around the 60 mark. So that looks fine. Um, and then to make it uh, rotated like that, all you have to do is, is press the control button and the T button at the same time, and then this should come up. Then hover around here, um, and then just drag it down. That looks fine. Okay, so that looks a little bit too far rotated, so I'm going to change it again. I'm going to hold Control and T. I'm gonna drag it. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you want it to look a little bit bigger, if you just want to change your mind, it's so simple. Just hold Control T again, and then just make it bigger. You can still make it bigger. Don't worry, guys. Um, and that, that looks fine. Then click the, the tick and then drag it into position and then that's literally it it looks exactly like that doesn't it guys so um, yeah that's basically the video so hope you guys enjoyed today's video one thing I have to say is that if you guys um, did sort of follow the tips and you've made a thumbnail like this or for your own then it, just send me a picture on Twitter and I'll retweet it and I'll that will just make my day um, yeah, I mean, that'll make my day seem so much better because that that just shows that you followed the rules and you've made a thumbnail really really good so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and also if this did help you out and you and you do think that this has improved your thumbnails then just hit the like button down below that'll, that'll, be, that'll be amazing and um, also subscribe if you are new but yeah that's going to wrap up today's video guys please like, subscribe and peace